See, Green Lantern ass is only walking right now because Russ made a phone call. Believe me, you. I don't have to introduce you in order for me to arrange a meeting. See, you meet someone, then you meet the paramedics. Then you meet the nurses in the intensive care unit. Then you meet doctors, and then you meet recovery. If you're lucky. Somebody hit that nigga in the head, right? Somebody hit Green Lantern in the head. Oh, I think it was Pat Boots crew. Yo, Pat, shout out to Pat Boots. The niggas was not playing. They ran up on Green Lantern like, nigga, I said shut the fuck up. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck you said the radio show? Nigga, shut the fuck up. That's what it was. I think it was some Uncle Murdy shit, right? They fucked that nigga Green Lantern up. And if there's any questions, no, I don't have any beef with Jadakins. Yeah. Yeah, that's resolved. You know, simple. Because me and Styles P made contact, had yeah. conversation. You know, that's dealt with. Jim Jones, we, yeah, we cool. You know? It makes good sense. The Jim Jones, you know what it is? He goes, what's to make money? You see what I'm That's it. So it's like, if you're like, yeah, fuck that. I don't want to hear that dumb shit. How do we get to the green? I'm not talking about camera. What is there to talk about? Huh? Wow. You hear that mixtape? Of the enemy? Listen, I had to have it because I was like, wait, let me see what he got. I went through that whole shit like, oh, my. This one is another one under my belt. Huh? I'm glad he jumped out at me because that's another body. That's another one, right? So this should be a clear indication for new artists to feel like they want to go out and establish artists to uh, prove yourself. Try me, fucker. Try me. Jay, Jay let him get away with it. Try me, though. I made more money than that fat nigga in 2004. He ain't lying, either. How about that? How about I brought in more money in 2004 than you did in 12 years? You fat bitch. See? You done started Lloyd Banks. You know what I'm saying? You done started him up, huh? Who? I don't know what's wrong with that fat nigga. And they got two kidneys. That's the same nigga got chased out the awards. Yeah. I can't believe they thought that I was, like, I had an issue with her. Like, when we was at the war show, yeah. and she kissed Kanye and I, I wasn't paying attention. Mm -hmm. I had to kiss out of... Mm -hmm. That's like, I told you somebody called me, trying to sell me a tape of Khalees. Oh, shit. Like, I don't want that tape. Like, I, I don't have issues with Nas to the point that I want to do that to him. You know what I'm saying? I, I think he's a sucker sometimes. And sometimes I think he's a sucker. Like, the, the decisions that he make is like sucker move. But... I don't have issues with him like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I'm trying to hurt his relationship. You know, I want to send my condolences to Chad Butler's family. For y'all that don't know, that's Pimp C. You know what I mean? God bless him. And I think, uh, you know, uh, shout out to um, Bun B. And I had the opportunity to work with them real early. I worked with them like 98. Before uh, Big Pippin or any of those those joints that you recognize, anybody from New York or in, in our area actually doing with them, I got a chance to do as the world turns. That was on power of the dollar that didn't actually come out. Because I got shot. Nah, BET, you know, it's interesting how they'll censor the, the records. They'll even have us blur out the word kill on in the music video. When it comes time to do I Still Kill That. This time BET had more changes for my music video than MTV, which was amazing. And um, it was amazing because right after that, American Gangster comes on. <laughs> And the wire. You know what I mean? So they go, okay, it's not okay to, to write it in a, in a music art form, but we can show you the actual guys who did it in the neighborhood. The people that you fucking inspire to be like, okay? So any of you idiots that are out there who have a distorted oh. enough vision to shoot and kill someone right fast, here's what you should do. What is this show about, actually? About how he, he, he wow. cheats on his wife. So she accepts it. Why? Why? He can't even pay the fucking bills. Like, why does she accept it? These niggas have stats, son. They men. Print that they talk about, like, the print team. They wear the print team shirts. That nigga went to trial with illegal aid. How the fuck do you let a nigga go to trial for, like, for murder? This is my man. My man? With illegal aid. Public assistance. That's what he's doing. He's getting public assistance. He's getting legal aid. 
Yeah, that's how he went to trial. They couldn't afford it. I mean, they was tapped out. I mean, the money was gone. Now, that's how much was his legal fee. He said about two fifty. Damn. His legal fee took. All you had was two fifty. You motherfucker. You was talking niggas, telling niggas you had money. You was running around. You had nice cars and all that shit. Everything you had was leased. You know, you see him in the video. They had the nice cars. Now they riding around. They got to do that. They got to scratch that money to go. I'm gonna squeeze the last bit of air out of your ass on this one right here. You're done, baby. This is over. It's gotta be the last year to even hear their name. Nah, this is it, man. Wow. See, I didn't even fuck. Look, he could have had a shot. He could have made a record. Nigga came, my body, my body, my body. Can't complain. I'm saying, yeah, 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 yeah. The nigga came like that. What the fuck was that? I thought you was riding on the nigga, huh? They supposed to be, they, right? They supposed to be riding. I don't understand what's going on over here. And I ain't saying nothing. Even Miss Jones was on him. Miss Jones got on his ass. See? Fucking with me. That's it. See? I'm connected. See? Man, fuck that nigga, Nog. Man, fuck that nigga, Jay. Why you cool with that nigga? You shit with that nigga, baby mama? Fuck that nigga, cuz. Fuck that. <laughs> Yo, nah. Damn, man. Let that bleak in them live, man. All they need is to be next to Hove on a joint and mix his in. That's all you need. It's automatic. I'm not involved in hip-hop. I'm on the outskirts of this shit. I just stopped popping to get my money on the album cycles and then I get the fuck away from these monkeys. I don't hang out with these niggas. You ever see me hang out with a nigga that ain't signed to me or working for me on some level? Never. You know why? Because I know they don't like me. If you ain't got no motherfucking money to get the fur no more, you gonna pull that motherfucker under your arm. <laughs> shit. He said, why she's still in fur? If that ain't the stupidest shit, because she used to him, she nigga. Boxy, she boxy. She used to motherfucker. This, this was a uh, 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 frequency problem we had last week, but I still recorded 50, so this is what he had to say. I'm Triple H, shape 45. I'm out of town again, baby. I'm telling you, I'm international. I go around the globe and I say, and the crowd goes, ah, We love you, 50. Ah, Jesus. Meanwhile, back in the States, I'm hearing the hate is growing. The hate is growing. I guess it comes from the jealousy. Jealousy breeds envy. And people can't control their feelings. And it's, it's Christmas time. And you know what it is? It's Bah Humbug time. Okay? They haven't need you screwed to me right now. Okay? I'm out here and bus who's trying to let, you know, trying to join myself. Actually, I'm on the bus. I'm on my way back to Amsterdam. You know what I mean? My friends are going to smoke until they can't see straight. And you know, so some of that amnesia. Hey, when you go to the coffee shop and the weed on the menu say amnesia. I said, damn. I said, damn. Never been out here. What you want to smoke some shit called amnesia for? I said, yo, this shit looked so crazy in there, man. I was like, yo, give him the one with the dust on it. I said, yo, where the Wu-Tang at? Where's the Wu-Tang? What's that white stuff on the weed? Yeah, speaking of Wu-Tang, right? Speaking of Wu-Tang, recently I seen a, 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 a little... A little bit of uh, a, a video on YouTube, and uh, the video was of the Jizza, the Jizza from Wu Tang. That's short from the genius. A Wu Tang, he's a genius. Who's that? I'm sure everyone else has forgotten who he is. Also, <laughs> who is that? Yes, but anyway, this guy gets on stage, and obviously he's drunk, and he starts talking about Soldier Boy. Sixteen. Who's 16 Shout years old? Boy, Shout out to Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy is hot. He got a hot song. He produced the record. The genius should shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. Okay? The kid is 16 years old, and we Googled you. You were born in 66. <laughs> in 1960s. Yo, he was born in 66, son. Damn, man. Listen, I have an old school Chevy and Power your age. No. They were born your year. Yeah, the, the, the first year of the Camaro. But Jesus, 
This is not even right. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. This doesn't even make any sense. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. The genius from Wu-Tang has declared all-out war on Soldier Boy. <laughs> this makes no sense. He's 16. Now, I understand why an artist would feel a little bit of animosity towards me. Of course, I've been dominating. You know, in fact, if you like me, I'm going to wonder why I'm taking all the money. <laughs> You were almost correct, Mr. PR. <laughs> wow. But but then again, I look, it's not I don't think it's a Wu Tang beef. It's not a Wu Tang thing. It's Jizza. That's just Jizza. It's not Wu Tang beef. No, genius. Yeah, Jizza. Jizza, yeah. yeah. I thought it was two different people, but Nah, but it, well, it wouldn't be no Wu Tang thing. I don't see it going with no Wu Tang shit. They having problems within within their own selves. You know what I'm saying? Bobby Digital's wilding out. Yeah. They looking at him like they they <laughs> the album like they don't want to do that. They not even supporting that. You think so? But I, but he has something to say about that though. Let's check this out. If you, oh, no, if you no, think it's not Wu Tang. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Are we going now? Yes. <laughs> oh shit. Damn. Gladiator. <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> oh shit. Here we go. You, you sure, uh, PR? Oh, you know. I think it's, I, listen, I really think it's, it's, it's really upsetting to me what's going on with Wu-Tang right now. Because I hear they're upset with the RZA. Didn't he start the Wu-Tang? He started the Wu-Tang. Yes, he did. He started the Wu-Tang. All the beats. Made the beats. Okay, sure. Yes, he has all the money. Yeah, his brother made 20% of everything. What's his brother's name? Powerful? Yeah, his brother's powerful. <laughs> he, he made the money too. Rizzo and his brother made the money. That's all right. All right. But they deserve it. They designed it. They built it. You know? The rest of them niggas was on dust and not paying attention to what was going on at the time. You know? Now I'm going to tell you the truth. Don't, don't say to Kyle, you fucking stupid. What's the matter with you? <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> to Kyle. Nah, listen, look. Method Man is my favorite, okay? No. He's trying to. No, no, no. He's trying to make. He's trying to create a beef. Well, me and Method Man, the fucking, this, look, don't fucking start, stupid, okay? You let me do the fucking starting around here. Okay, now Method Man, out of the entire Wu-Tang, is my favorite, okay? Oh, I'm going to tell you why, because this guy said, I got more glocks and text than you, I make you hot. Niggas won't even stand next to you, nigga, you touch me, you better bust me three times in the head and leave a nigga dead. I thought so. <laughs> That's right, with B.I.G. That was classic. That was classic. The rest of them niggas, like the, ge the genius, them niggas be like philosophies, philosophies, properties, <laughs> microscope. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, man? I don't know what the fuck he's a scientist. Uh, oh wow. my god. Well, that goes back to what I said. It was not a Wu Tang beef. He said Meth Man is his favorite. He's just picking out since, you know, Jizzard and Rizzard, like these guys is what they're saying. Oh I mean, everybody probably said, see, 50 says what everybody wants to say. <laughs> what, what was that? Have you ever seen the movie Gladiator? <laughs> Listen, did you ever see the movie Gladiator? <laughs> you see when he comes through there, what's the guy's name? Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. <laughs> you see when he gets angry in the middle of battle? And he goes, oh! Ah! And he's swinging his sword. That's what Jimmy just did <laughs> through the Geffen area. <laughs> Seventy men dead. Now, there's plenty of room for my office space. Plenty of room. I'll move to the West Coast. Renegotiation. I'll be there. You know, I, I really don't think we need all those people anyway. I mean, not for me. We need those people to help other artists. You know? This is a special time, you know? It's Christmas. Where they going? This is Christmas. I mean, I, you people got to lighten up. I'm trying to give you guys something to laugh at. <laughs> Let's have fun now. I mean, Def Jam calls in. Def Jam let go 30 people. Wow. 30 Christ people. Christ. Yeah. Christ. And then they're going to say, JJ said he needs 10 million. Wow. To Bro. stay, right? Isn't that what they said? He didn't say that. He said, Jason's not greedy like that. 10 million, you know what that means? I mean, I have to let go 20 more people. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs>
Come on, that's fifty thousand a year for how many people? Huh? My head's hurting now. My head's hurting to think how many people have to get fired. Two hundred people. Okay, just get rid of the street team. Get rid of the street team. Who else? Radio staff. No one needs records to get played. Who else can we get rid of? All we need is new media. New media, mobile, and question. If you fire the entire staff, fuck a and No more a and Listen, the artists got to come groomed. If they're not ready when they come in, if they're not ready when they come in, they're fucking finished, buddy. You're finished. You know what we need? We need choreographers so there's a dance for every song. This shit ain't funny, man. We in a terrible state right now. Wait, wait. Listen, 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 listen. I want to say this to the 70 people who, who lost their jobs over at Geffen. I want to say this to you. You know, you worked hard. You dedicated your time, your energy. I feel for you because you you actually had passion. You were special, you know. And I valued you over there, you know. When it came time for you to sell that game album for me, you guys did a good job. You know, you guys did what you were supposed to do over there. You know. And I just want to say this to you in your time, you know, of confusion. This is a confusing state. Like, you're not sure that you should smile when the kids open... Christmas gifts because you're not sure if there's going to be money but think about it this is the period where what's today what's today Friday everybody goes to Christmas break so they say no don't take a break get the fuck out get your shit and get the fuck out <laughs> yeah here's a word of advice from 50 cent do not if your contract is up do not Ask for a race. <laughs> Let 70 people being dead in a lobby be an indication <laughs> that they are not willing to pay for you. You know? This is amazing, man. Like, you know, you know, I kind of had a feeling that something like this could happen. So two weeks ago, I was saying that on my show. Remember I said, watch what happens at Geffen? And I said, I said that to him about Def Jam before they came for the people at Def Jam, right? Sure enough. Sure enough. Wow. Hell? I wonder how empty it feels, like, like it feels at the office today. Like everybody, what they do, just picked up their bags and shit, took a couple free CDs and left? <laughs> Damn, man. 